What shall we do with all this paper? The Empress asked me one day after Korechka had it delivered to her. Well, it looks like it would make a good pillow, I joked, knowing that the Empress would catch my clever allusion to the Tang Dynasty poet Bo Jui, who they say used a stack of paper as a pillow. I resolved to use every last bit of it, and I set about writing all manner of things. Things that make you happy. You come across a letter someone has torn up and thrown away and manage to piece enough of it back together to read a few lines. You suddenly realize you misplaced something, and when you go looking for it, it turns up immediately. I know it's sinful to think this way, but it makes me very happy to see bad things happen to people I despise. Elegant things. Wisteria flowers, snow falling on plum blossoms, duck eggs. Things people do that other people copy. Yawns, having children. Awkward things. A large boat stranded on the beach at low tide. The backside of a sumo wrestler who has just lost his match. Irritating things. People who ride around in squeaky carriages. You ask yourself, can they really not be hearing this? When a child starts crying just as you were about to get some good gossip on someone. And I hate it when people don't shut the door behind them when they leave. Sometimes, when life brings one frustration after another, when nothing is as it should be, and you desperately wish you could hide yourself away somewhere, there's nothing so consoling as the crisp whiteness of ordinary writing paper.